This is a, a little ring plover returned to one of its Northumberland breeding sites. And, and they're an early migrant. Little ring plovers return from Africa from, from sort of early to mid-March onwards. So now, as we get into April, they'll be settling down into to many sites. And it's a good time to, to get out and start looking for, for evidence of, of territories. They can be very noisy, although this bird is feeding, feeding quietly. They can be very noisy this time of year, displaying, making their, their aerial display flights, arguing with each other and with, with other birds such as ring plovers. So quite easy to find. But the trick is not just to look at, at obvious and, and sort of maybe well-known wetland sites such as this, but look for new sites, because little ring plovers like uh, quite a rare habitat. They like open vegetation, shingle, bare ground, which doesn't last for long. It grasses over, vegetates over at many places. So, so they move, and they often turn up in places where bird butchers don't go. So it'd be really good if people could spend more time looking at industrial sites, brownfield sites, around the edge of old sort of uh, out-of-town shopping centres and industrial parks, uh, new roadworks, new building sites, uh, river valleys where rivers meander and create river shingles and the space for, for little ring plovers, because these are the sort of places they shift around finding these new patches of bare ground to breed on. So it'd be great if people could, could spread out from the normal sites, don't just sort of year tick uh, little ring plovers at your local gravel pit and then forget about them. Start looking for for more sites for them. Find some, some displaying birds where there's maybe going to be a territory and if you find that maybe keep an eye on them, return later in the breeding season to see if you can you can prove a breeding attempt.